Hello students, welcome to Pharma Syndrome YouTube channel. And today our discussion is on classification of anti-diabetic with the mnemonic. The mnemonic is very, very interesting and uh, you can easily remember the classification of all anti-diabetic anti drugs. Okay, I hope you all people already know diabetes is nothing but a imbalance between insulin as well as glucagon levels in the body. That is due to reduction in the insulin action, there is increased glucose action in the body, especially in the blood. So for that purpose, there is a, you already know, there is a type 1 diabetes as well as type 2 diabetes. So in that we are having, in type 1, we are directly use the insulin supplements. In the type 2, we use the anti-diabetic drugs. They promote, they increase the action of insulin. So here, our focus on mainly classification with a interesting mnemonic and definitely you will feel crazy as well as euphoric. And the mnemonic is for the anti-diabetic drug is ban GHT for the diabetic products. So ban GHT for the diabetic products. And here, the first letter is B on the B first is biguanides. Chemically, they contain two guanidino group. This guanidine group is present in the amino acid arginine. Because of presence of this guanidine group only, arginine amino acid gives positive test for the Sakaguchi test. You, you, maybe you go through in the biochemistry. So this biochemistry test, what is arginine like that? So biguanides. So even this guanidine group may also present in the anti-malarial drugs like uh, proguanil. And even uh, it is present in the guanidine, guanidril, guanidine as well as guanidril. These are two drugs. These are sympathetolytics. These are sympatholytics. They prevent the release of catecholamines from presynapse to postsynapse, like guanidine, guanidril, and the proguanil is an anti malarial drug. And here, by guanides, anti diabetic drugs, they contain guanidine group. Guanidine group. And next, uh, alphabet is A. In the band, first is B, by guanides, next is A. The A is alpha glucosidase inhibitors. So here, this alpha glucosidase is the enzyme responsible for the absorption and digestion of carbohydrates. So if you want to reduce glucose levels in the patient, diabetic patient, one of the ways is reduce the absorption and digestion of carbohydrates by inhibiting the enzyme alpha glucosidase, that is alpha glucosidase inhibitor. So here, next letter is N, non-sulfonyl urea. So these are different from the sulfonyl ureas. Both the sulfonyl ureas, non-sulfonyl ureas are similar in the mechanism, but they may differ in the chemistry. That's why here these are called as non-sulfonyl ureas. And next is GLP-1 analogs. GLP-1 analogs. That is <clears throat> glucagon-like peptide 1 analogs. And next is sulfonyl ureas. So there is a non-sulfonyl ureas as well as sulfonyl ureas. So both are having the same mechanism of action but differ in the chemistry. That is sulfonyl ureas as well as non-sulfonyl ureas. Next letter is T. Next letter is T, that is thiazolidin dions. Chemically, they are thiazolidin dions, also called as glitazones, also called as glitazones. So, next, after thiazolidin dions, next uh, letter is D. So, after T, the next letter is T. So, we completed biguanides, alpha glucose inhibitors, non sulfonylias GLP-1 analogs, sulfonylias as well as thiazolidin dions also. So, the letter T is thiazolidin dions and after T, the next letter is, one second, the next letter is D. What is D? DPP4 inhibitors, that is dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitor. Dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitor, that is DPP4. So DPP4 is an enzyme. Next, the last letter is P. The last letter is P, that is promlinitide. So this is the mnemonic. So this is simply classes, okay. That is ban GHT for the diabetic products. Ban GHT for the diabetic products. Next, uh, examples of the each class. Next is examples of each class. So first one is biguanides. So first one is biguanides. So what are the biguanides in the anti-diabetic class? Like penformin as well as metformin. So metformin is commonly used in drug nowadays also, and especially metformin having the ability to reduce the adipocyte, nothing but it having ability to have the anti-obesity properties. Okay. So, but penformin is not using nowadays because of it's a dangerous side effect, lactic acidosis. Next, alpha glucosidase inhibitor. 
by inhibiting the alpha glucosidase enzyme these drugs like acarbose miglitol oglibose reduce the carbohydrate concentration in the blood next uh, non sulfonyl ureas the examples of non sulfonyl ureas like uh, nateglinide as well as rapaglinide these two are examples under the non sulfonyl ureas next examples of glucagon like peptide one analog is the uh, exinatide okay next uh, examples under the category of sulfonyl ureas first one sorry first generation as well as second generation in the first generation tolbidamide as well as chlorpropamide in the second generation glimepiride as well as gliburide as well as glipizide so these are the example of sulfonyl ureas that is based on first generation as well as second generation next uh, in the same sulfonyl ureas another category is there sglt2 inhibitor so in unintentionally i didn't mention in the above class itself so here one of the drugs on the letter s is sglt sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitor so here sodium glucose transporter 2 inhibitors like depagliflozin depagliflozin next thiazolidine dions thiazolidine dions so thiazolidine dions are also called as glitazones because the examples like proglitazone the examples like rosiglitazone the examples like pioglitazone so especially these thiazolidine dions are acting through the nuclear receptors which are also called as steroid receptors which are also called as cytosolic receptor which are also called as intracellular receptor all these are synonyms of the nuclear receptors so regarding the pharmacology of the receptors receptor pharmacology please go through our previous videos definitely you can get the more knowledge and uh, you can easily remember the receptors like ion channel like g protein couple like enzyme linked as well as nuclear receptor because receptors are like formulas for the pharmacology you can easily understand pharmacology if you having the grip on the receptor pharmacology next examples of dpp4 inhibitor that is dipeptidyl peptidase core inhibitor that is sitagliptin saxagliptin as well as vildagliptin next pramlinitide so pramlinitide is an analog of uh, amylin that is isolate of uh, amyloid polypeptide okay this is regarding the classification of anti diabetics with a simple and craziest mnemonic of the ban gst for the diabetic products so regarding mechanism of each class of drugs definitely you will follow our channel for the updates thank you